Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be going over uh, an item that I've covered before. And the reason why we're going to be going over this item that I've covered before is because, well... Uh, they've changed it significantly. They changed the skill significantly. And I was really harsh with this item the first time around. And I honestly kind of think that Blizzard was reading my comments. I know that sounds cocky, but... Um, Let's go over my comments on the original uh, a rupture ability, shall we? Because I feel like this is pertinent to the conversation. I said, not even going to sugarcoat this. I think rupture is a terrible skill, and you should avoid using it. You disagree with me. Let's fight in the comments. Uh, problems with rupture. It's slow. Two to three rends worth of slow, which means in most content, you're better off just using rend. It basically only hits one monster at a time, unless they are standing on top of each other, which again, since Rend has a much wider arc, and Cone, you're better off just using Rend. Number three, the damage of the skill itself is really bad, from the initial hit and all the way to the bleed it puts on the target to the fields of Crimson Bleed. All around, the Mulberry Bush, the ability has terrible damage, which means it basically adds nothing to the damage equation that didn't already exist. Number four, the monsters are usually dead when you use it, and all you're doing is killing them about one to four seconds sooner than they would have already died. Number five, most of the time you're better off just spamming more rends, like 95% of the time. 95% of the time it's a wasted skill on your bar that only has the chance to shine versus beefy elites and bosses, and even in those situations it's still not that amazing. Number seven, Rupture is bugged and half the time it removes its own bleed that it's supposed to apply after the ability finishes, further making the damage of the skill itself even worse. Number eight, the attack speed buff only offers four seconds, and by the time this slow ability finishes, it's really slow animation half of those four seconds are already gone. Uh, number nine, the skill requires a lot of prep work to do anything worthwhile. Flay, Ren, bleeds from all their sources, bleeds from keystone passives, bleeds from berserk ripping, etc. And all that prep work lasts for about three to five seconds. If we're talking about 20 second bleeds for 30 second bleeds, I could see rupture being more useful, but most of the time the bleed damage is gone before rupture cooldown timer finishes. Uh, number 10, to get any good effect out of Rupture, it needs to be always available, which requires stacking skill points in it and using other messages to reduce the cooldown. These skill points are honestly better spent elsewhere. Uh, number 11, the skill points you spend on Rupture to reduce the cooldown so it's always up when needed would be far better off spent on things more useful in the Barbarian Tree. Very harsh on both the Rupture skill and the Fields of Crimson. Now I have to eat my words, because apparently they must have read my comments and changed everything, because now the skill is completely different than it was before. Um, Rupture now has a longer attack speed, almost as if they heard me. Um, so it now, instead of being 4 seconds, the attack speed bonus is 5 seconds, and they also increase the attack speed bonus on Warrior's Rupture, so that it actually lasts for a longer period of time. Um, they also made it so that the skill itself does more bleed damage. So instead of doing the low, low amount of bleed damage that it did before, now it does a relatively high amount of bleed damage. Um, on top of this, uh, they also made it so that there was an aspect that you could put on the, the character. Now, I'm not sure if I have that aspect on me right now, uh, but I've seen it drop quite a few times in the past couple days. And it's an aspect that basically prevents Rupture from consuming its own bleed when you use it. So instead of consuming its bleed, or, or all the bleeds on the target, it will leave the bleeds on the target. So we are in a crazy situation where they have kind of like did a complete about face on Rupture, buffed Rupture up, the main ability that obviously Fields of Crimson is buffing, and they also buffed up the unique item itself from the previous version uh, as well. So we're looking at a complete about face, a 180 degree turn, and um, it actually looks like it's worth using now. So if you are a bleed barbarian and you want to get the best out of rupture, it does seem like Fields of Crimson is a good option now. Let's go over it together and let's take a look at the new version 1.20 Fields of Crimson and, uh, and see what we got here. So um, this one is a 911 item power, and obviously it could go up. In fact, you know, I like to do that for every video. So let's go ahead and upgrade the item to its maximum potential so you can really see uh, what damage numbers and things that we can get out of this. So let's go ahead and upgrade her. All right. So we've got um, 3,839 damage per second, which of course could be higher if it was a 925. Um, it does have critical strike damage, but that's inherent on all swords. 
Um, all two-handed swords. It also has 55.5% uh, critical strike damage as well. Now, you might be wondering why it has so much critical strike damage when we're talking about bleeds, and that has to do with gushing wounds specifically scaling off of your critical strike damage bonus it's a it's an effect that's specific to gushing wounds so if you are a bleed barbarian you should be scaling critical strike damage because that's how your bleeds work um, we also have 30 percent damage over time which does vary between 21 and 42 percent 49.5 percent damage with two-handed slashing weapons which of course is going to be your main attack as a bleed barbarian um, and that does vary between 31.5 and 52.5 percent uh, they also took away the plus to skills to rupture because they weren't really doing anything. Um, it's one of the reasons why, uh, one of the things I complained about when it came to rupture is that the plus to skills did nothing more than reduce the cooldown and um, didn't increase the damage at all or do anything significant to the ability. So they were kind of useless and it looks like they heard me because they changed it to 19.6 to 36.4% rupture cooldown reduction, which means that it's going to reduce the cooldown of your rupture tremendously, a lot more than honestly the plus to skills probably ever did. Um, on top of this, they also changed the unique effect um, a little bit. So while using this weapon, damaging at least one enemy with rupture creates a blood pool that inflicts 2,387 uh, bleeding damage over six seconds. Enemies standing in the pool take 20 times increased bleeding damage. This was changed from 10 times increased bleeding damage, by the way. Um, so not only have they increased the rupture ability, so they have, in general, made rupture faster. Um, they increase the timer on Warrior's Rupture. They increase the amount of attack speed that you get from Warrior's Rupture. They increase the bleed damage on Enhanced Rupture. Um, they also gave a way for you to prevent Rupture from consuming the bleed as you use it, which is a really big boon, by the way, because it consuming the bleed was one of the biggest problems because it, you, that, mean, that meant you, take, you took a lot of prep work to add a bleed only to get basically nothing in return. You got to think that if you dish out, say... I don't know, 100,000 damage and bleed damage. And then you use Rupture, it consumes all that bleed damage and then applies it to the target, right? But you didn't actually do 100,000 damage with Rupture, you just took the bleed off and applied 100,000 damage, right? But now with the ability to keep the bleed on the target after you use Rupture, this means that you're going to use Rupture, it's going to consume the bleed, 100,000 damage added to the target, but now it's going to leave the original 100,000 bleed damage on the target for it to tick, which means now you've got double damage over what it was before. So you got your original bleed damage still on the target, and you get an additional 100,000 damage for using Rupture, which means Rupture is now, like I said, a complete 180. Before, I recommended that you never use the ability, and now I am telling you that if you're a Bleed Barbarian, you should be using the ability. On top of that, Fields of Crimson has taken an About Face too. Now, you may or may not want to use Fields of Crimson with your Bleed build. It's really going to be up to you. Um, but the 20 times multiplier for them being in the pool of bleeding damage is actually pretty darn nice. So every time you use Rupture and you hit the target with that massive strike, the bleed pool is going to go in there, and then you're going to get that 20 times increased damage, which is certainly not terrible. Um, all in all, Fields of Crimson is definitely hell of a lot better than it was before. Um, no longer am I poo-pooing on it, like literally just squatting straight on the blade and just right on that blade, because before it was, it was it was absolutely terrible, and I, and, and I recommended that no one ever use it. But now, yes, use it. Have fun with it. It's definitely a very, very, very nice weapon now. Um, I like the cooldown reduction. And, and to, to go over more specifically, like, all the changes that they made, the cooldown reduction is very good because it allows Rupture to be up all the time when you need it. Um, like I said in my comment, because there's so much prep work involved, um, you often need Rupture to be available when you finish your prep work. Um, and sometimes it's not. Um, because the cooldown is particularly long, it, it becomes a situation of like, hey, I got all this prep work, all these bleeds are on this target, I've, I got everything set up, but Rupture's not available for me to use. So having the cooldown reduction and having the ability to use Rupture more often and more have, have it more available when you need it, so when the prep work has been finished, you've got it, is definitely a very, very good thing. Um, I really like the additional 10% on the... Um, 
multiplier on the pool, the blood pool as well, because then you have the blood pool there and you're, you're dishing out extra damage to the target. This will help you out with bosses. Uh, this will help you out with those big packs of monsters too, because the, the bleed pool is actually pretty big. Um, in fact, you know what? I can, I can very quickly show you the bleed pool. Uh, give me just a second here. Weep. I gotta make sure that it's using the Fields of Crimson. And then we can go outside real quick and I can show you the bleed pool because why not? I show you the bleedy pool. Uh, the bleed pool is actually pretty nice. Um, I tried to play a bleed barbarian uh, last season when they beefed up rupture a little bit. But uh, they didn't really beef it up enough. Um, now, however, as you can see, the blood pool on the ground is a pretty nice little sexy blood pool. Um, it does some pretty decent damage if you're scaled for bleeding. The problem is, is if you're not scaled for bleeding, it's not really going to help you out that much. Um, and as you can see, when using um, Fields of Crimson, and uh, let me hop back in here so I don't get murdered, um, you notice that my timer is now 5.93 seconds. Um, remember in the comments, what I said was, is that, uh, of course I closed, I closed the comments, I closed them. Um, I said that the bleeds only tend to last for three to five seconds, right? So three to five seconds is like the maximum amount of time that those bleeds last. So you build up all those bleeds on a target and they're all ticking for three to five seconds, right? And if you can't get off your, your rupture within three to five seconds... You're screwed, right? So now it's 5.93 seconds. And if you were to combine a little bit of extra cooldown reduction here or there, or some more skill points in Fields of Crimson, um, you could potentially get that down to the range that you need. And basically what you need it at is you need it at about three seconds, if you can get it down to three seconds. Because that means you'll be able to utilize it whenever you get your full stack of bleeds up before your bleeds start ticking away. Um, because of course, as soon as that bleed's gone, you're not going to be able to take advantage of it with rupture. So you need it. You need it down low enough that you can really take advantage of it. And the good thing is, is that when you do like stack some points into it, like let me let me just pull some points from something real quick so I can show you. Uh, the higher level it does get, it does tend to reduce in cooldown. So as you can see at level four. Level 5, I'm looking at 4.86 seconds, which is more in the realm of what you need for this. Now, granted, you don't necessarily need, actually, to put... Um, you don't actually need to put points into it, though. There's other ways. Um, like, for instance, you could potentially be using something like the Vampiric Power Hectic, uh, which gives you a... Um, two second reduction in active cooldowns for every five basic skills that you use. So for instance, if you were using say, um, flay, you would attack flay five times. And as soon as you hit flay five times, you would get two seconds off of your rupture cooldown, uh, which would help in keeping the rupture active whenever you need it. Right. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Even when we're just talking about something like the Fields of Crimson. And um, I think I forgot to read the flavor text, as always. Um, and the flavor text on Fields of Crimson is... Uh, we've been fighting these flesh eaters for so long, been soaked in so much blood, that after a while, it's difficult to tell what side you're on. Uh, Daler Crane Tribe Warrior. As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.